Hi, it's me, Burbingish, and welcome to the Chaser Progression. Yep, I'm finally doing a deep bound video. So today we're going to be going a Flare Blood Commas Flame build. But the interesting thing is that I was probably one of the first ones to get the Flare Blood Commas on stream. <laughs> Make a PvE build! <laughs> oh, oh, wait! Flare Blood Commas! I got it! Yo. Already? Damn! Yo! Intelligence scaling! It's, it's, oh, it's light in intelligence. And I still have it to this day. So I'm gonna be using the quote-unquote first Flare Blood Comma. Commas, whatever. And I have not done Deep Bound in a good while, so this is gonna be interesting. Okay, so we're on the lookout for lionfishes or sharkos, since those are probably gonna be the easiest for me to kill at this level. Maybe freshers too, but uh, they come in pairs, so that's gonna be a little annoying. A chest. 19 HP boots. I got- oh, wait, no. Uh, right, there's a level requirement. Okay. I'll put on this hat though. Okay, I keep seeing owl feathers everywhere, but like, I'm not fighting an owl. There's too much chip damage. If you're wondering why I did Deep Bound for this progression and not Void Voidwalker like <laughs> my other progressions. It's because, uh, you know, the last one I did do Voidwalker for a dive. Ow, my half my HP is gone. Last progression I did a Voidwalker for a diver, so now I have to be a- I have to tread lightly around the lore nerds. Dude, is this thing gonna die? Oh, right, I don't even have Chains of Perfection yet. I get that at level 2. Hey, hey, dude, come here. Please, help me kill this guy. Much appreciated. Oh, three bars. I'm level 1. Uh oh, <laughs> another lionfish is here. What is that? Another lionfish is here. I have not done deep bound in a while. I think the last deep bound progression I did was like the Clarice progression where I slopped the Void Walker midway because I got too bored of it. Hopefully, deep bound is more interesting now. Then they add like a Mud Skipper event and like the Deluvian. Me oh, right, the Deluvian mechanism. I should do that. That actually might be the strap, bruh. You got 50 notes? Nope, I got zero notes. I do have stuff I could sell though. There we go. While I'm here, I might as well sell some of my other stuff. I'll use some notes to uh, repair my armor, why not? What? I got a level for repairing my armor? Alright, well, I'll just take swift rebound. Evasive. Alright, I'm gonna grab flame grab. Pun not intended. Please, please don't click off the video. Ooh. Ah. No, no! <laughs> Wait. Ah, oh, crap. Uh, can I make it up here? Ah, uh, let's go. This guy saved me. You know, so far, the people around has been pretty friendly. Hopefully, it stays like that and nobody tries to gank me. Alright, since we're deep bound, this video is going to be uh, starting off a bit slow. And also, I just remembered. You guys are probably wondering, why does Chaser look so happy? And it's because this is accurate to his lore, bruh. If you look at the wiki, he was like an aspiring diver and stuff, you know? And also, the lore nerds threatened me, but it's fine. <laughs> I have to be lore accurate for a progression or else they'll gank me. So I think for this build, I might go Contractor, which I'm not quite sure if it's like the best idea because he didn't make a deal with the fourth prophet he made it with the second one i think you know the blood guy i don't know who the blood guy is but like he's some prophet it's the closest thing we have so i might just do that i'm gonna try and level up my fortitude a little sooner oh here we go i'm not quite sure when i want to leave the depths on this build maybe around trial of one level yeah we'll, we'll just say it's like the trial of one level oh wait hold on diluvian mechanism i forgot we're going diluvian mechanism all right there it is the little uh, i'm not quite sure what it's called Okay, that's a lot of jellyfish. Oh, oh, that that is a, you know, that's a pretty big jellyfish. Oh, come on, a shark go right here? I'm just trying to get to the mechanism, man. I guess I'll take the XP. Why not? What? Stop! No, stop spawning shark goes on me. All right, does it heal me back to full if I started right now, or should I like? get a level first all right we're gonna do the new player stat investment strategy where you just throw in points randomly it pains me to do this but i gotta i gotta get this level man there we go blood iron fire blade all right pretty good mantra set up here well it's two moves but you know pretty good and uh let's start it wave one hey okay i'm getting stun locked yo relax okay all right as wave one. Oh, just a fresher this time. I'm basically doing trial of one here. <laughs> there we go. Second wave done. What's the third one? Oh, golem, right. Th this is just a trial of one. Well, at least it isn't like five corrupted sharkos jumping me all at once. It would be nice if I got like a little break in between the level up, just like uh, the trial of one. But this was meant for max levels anyway, so. There we go. What's the, what is this, the fourth or fifth wave? I forget. Oh, wave four. That, that is a corrupted charco. I mean, not charco. Uh, blind fish. Yes. 
Imagine I get Oh, I was about to say, imagine I get one shot by this, but hold on. Let me just stop the mechanism real quick. There we go, level 5. And I'll take Scuba Drowner. Okay, seeing how screwed up our stats already are, I might as well just start leveling up Light Weapon. I think I'll probably skip past the waves that I've already done. Oh my goodness. Okay, hey, relax, relax. No way I wipe here. No way! <laughs> no way! Oh! <laughs> okay, that was a little close. That was a little close. I actually thought I was gonna wipe. But well, what I was trying to say is I'm probably going to skip past the waves that I've already done and then skip to the new ones or like the one I quit on. So the Corrupted Lionfish. All right, we're back at the uh, the, the, the Corrupted Lionfish. I'm going to success. I said I was going to successfully dodge it this time, but it appears I'm not very good at dodging. Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, 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 Oh my goodness, bro. How? I, I, dude, how am I failing to dodge this thing, bro? Is it different from the normal, like, lionfish dodges? You see, like, earlier in the episode, I was doing the normal ones, right? Just, like, just fine, bro. All right, well, we're already at trial of one level from this, you know, which is pretty good. Oh, spine cutter, nice. I did say I was going to leave after I hit trial of one level, but I do want to, I do want to beat the corrupted lionfish before I actually uh, leave. Because I can't just end on that, bruh. Five minutes later. Back to the corrupted lionfish. I'm going to dodge it this time. Dude, you see, it's delayed, bruh. Like, <laughs> that he goes down and then he shoots it. I gotta watch for the delay. Okay, I just said I was gonna watch for the delay, but I don't think it's worth it, guys. I'm on half a bar. <laughs> Dude, why is this thing so unironically difficult? Hold on, I wanna have a side-by-side -side with, like, the normal lionfish and the corrupted lionfish. See if the timing's any different. Here we go, level 8. We're past trial of one level now. Warrior's respite, that's good. Fire palm. Yes, that's good, that's good. Alright. Come on, I get it this try, right? Well, okay, now that time was a little early. That time was a little early. This time I get it, right? This time I get it. Okay, I wonder if I can just like flame grab iframe it. I can! That is actually so useful. That might be the strat here, because this timing is stupid. And also, his little bites are stupid too. Like, I don't know why, but like he just keeps facing away from me or just not face me. Oh shoot, I screwed up. Woo! Oh, no, I posture broke him. That's good, that's good. How did that hit me, bro? How did that hit me? Come on, man. I'm like one beam away from death here, so if I screw up, I really screw up. Okay, good. Alright, this guy, Five minutes later. Another one, come on, man. Oh, okay, finally, bro. What is this next one? Oh, just a corrupted shark coat? That is so easy. That is so easy. Light work, bruh. That's what I'm saying. Oh, chest. Nice. Hey, I'll just grab all this to sell. Oh, entanglement. I'm probably just gonna lapless it. Wait, what am I talking about? I'm using flare bloods. Okay, so this thing might just be useless. I'll just I'll just give it to another slot. Alright, unless it's something easy, I'm probably not gonna do this next wave. But I do wanna see what it is for it. Oh, that that is a lot of enemies. Maybe I can do this one. Dude, their particles are so annoying. There's so many particles everywhere. See if I can hit him with a- Ooh, look at that. I kind of have to rely on my, like, flame blade here, because I don't really have a guard break crit like every other weapon. These guys have a lot more HP than I thought. Ooh, no, 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 no. Ooh, stop, 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 stop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Alright, once that guy hit me with like the dead nation or something, I was like, oh crap. <laughs> Maybe light weapon isn't the best for that wave. But now, let's get some more levels. There we go. Here, I'll freeze perfect flash, take wildfire. Because now my flame palm should be like... Yeah, that's a little bigger. Here, precise swing, why not? And I'll take fire forge. Alright, let's get out of here. Since I'm deep bound, I just need to fight an enforcer, which should be easy, hopefully. Five minutes later. These ones are fit for crushing. Alright, here we go. Dagger V Enforcer. This is gonna be oh so fun. Fireblade. Hey, that's good. I wonder if I can throw in Flame Forge here. I'm not sure if it does a lot. Yeah, it does a lot of posture. Alright, that's good. That's why people say it's good. There we go. 
Five minutes later. Ah, tu prends un arrière. Five minutes later. There we go. That took a little while. And we're out. All right. Imagine I didn't have chains of perfection for that. That would have been an actual pain. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and sell a whole bunch of stuff that we got from Etris. I mean, not Etris. I, I mean, at Etris. We got this from the Diluvian Mechanism, and we'll see what to do from there. All right, I do gotta say, this time, Deep Bound was a little more fun. Mostly because of the Diluvian Mechanism, but uh, to be fair, it is the same mobs. It's just that I don't have to look around for the mobs that long. I'm about to learn black diver and repair my robes and since i want autodidact and i'm a dread oh my goodness that's 48 points all right i'll just put these into you into uh into fortitude yes that's what i was about to say hey that's good i'll take that concussion can wait probably flourishing isn't a very common thing anyways oh hey speaking of flourishing i'm gonna take that all right first thing i want to do right now is just quickly head over to song seeker and get my flame mantras up i'm gonna get fire blade up and fire forge yeah that's good all right so in order to get contractor i need to get myself positive ministry rep and to do that i'm gonna do some bounties for this npc right over here and it's not really a bounty he just wants me to kill anybody at song seeker you are going to kill somebody specifically any poor sap you find on song seeker sounds good do the job and return to me they'll have to be as smart as yourself you know so the reason i'm doing the bounties is because the alternative is just doing these events which take so long Oh, whoops. No, 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 You, you live. I kill you. Wait, what? Oh, come on. I didn't even get the rep for it because he drowned. All right. So the plan is I'm going to sit at Song Seeker and wait for some Void Walkers to grasp onto me. Hopefully that'll land me some easy kills and I can get my ministry rep up. No problem. This is a uh, Operation Reverse Void Walking. Five minutes later. Hmm. This is taking a second. Ah. I thought it was a player for a second. Why is it all the times that I try and go contractor, I don't go Voidwalker? Five minutes later. You know, people talk about how they keep constantly getting jumped by Voidwalkers. Where are they? Where are the Voidwalkers, man? Why did I just get a random fresher event, bro? Oh, why does everything feel so delayed? My M1s feel way too delayed, and my rolls too. What is it? What is this? You know, maybe I'll have better luck over at Aresia. All right, let me go grab Aresia's quest. Is it too late to go Voidwalker? All right, I've been waiting for like 30 minutes now on um, both Songseeker and Aresia. When are the Voidwalkers going to show up? Like seriously, where, where are they? There's not even a single player here. So even if I wanted to just gank a random guy, there's no random guy to gank. Five minutes later. Oh, finally, bro. Oh my goodness, bro. Hey, I've been waiting. Come here. Okay, so I'm gonna hit him with a little- Oh, he actually parried that. Is that two of them? Oh, come on, man. All at the- Wait, what? <laughs> I got two at the same time? This is unlucky, bro. Okay. Well, this is gonna be a little bit annoying. Fire blade. Let's see if I can hit him with a flame grab. What are the chances when they show up, they go for, they have two at once. All right. Woo. Well, I don't get double the rewards. I don't get double the quest XP if I kill both of them. So this sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Gank your teammate. Yeah. Oh my goodness. What? Oh, that, his animation got completely hidden there. Oh, wait, what? Is that another Voidwalker? <laughs> but like for the other guy? Guard break, fire forge. Oh. What? Me? You're a max level, bro. Okay, good, good, good. Stay down. Stay down here, bruh. Let's go. Defeated. What's this guy doing here, though? He has a whole bell. This guy's a max level. Fire palm. 
dodge. What are you doing, bro? You, you can't just do that close range, you know? Oh, crap. Oh, that strong left did a bar. That's crazy. Bruh. I'm a level 10 freshie, bruh. Alright, what? I'm spinning this back, bro. He wasn't even a void walker. What is going on in here? Alright, you know what? That's that's the guy from the guild earlier. Come on, let's go. So we're after the FAQ guys. Because, oh. Because they gripped my freshie, bruh. Radiant kick. I don't have a bell on this build because I never bothered to do it. Oh, who just popped the domain expansion? Dodge. Let's see if I can hit him with the Radiant Dawn. Yeah, cook this guy, bruh. Oh, we're out. Oh, somebody's dead. I'm getting random silent art. Hey, get off me. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. What is going on? Yes. He's dead. Get him. Somebody Reaper, 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 Reaper. Oh, hey. I think that's the guy. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> I guess that's that. Alright. Well, even though we got involved in a completely random gank, we did get the kill for that last Void Walker, so let's go cash it in. Oh, yeah, and also, I'm just a level away, so where's my encyclopedia? Boom, there you go. Agitating Spark. I'm pretty sure this is like the Emperor Flame thing. Even if Emperor Flame didn't actually buff anything, just the sheer amount of particles is enough to make it worth using since I'm running light. I'm pretty sure I did this for my like fake freshie build too. Ah, oh, I just realized this is the second time I went light flame charm. I didn't really do it intentionally, but like what else are you gonna make chaser? Frost draw? Alright, I have eliminated the target and I got ministry rep. You know, now that I think about it, flare blood commas flame with contractor. Hey that this build sounds kinda cold. Hmm, you know, I'm not so sure I want to keep doing deep bound anymore. Because once I get contractor, I'm going to be immediately hunted by the divers anyways. So I really get no benefits except for the stupid little call of the deep thing. And since I'm not void walker, we get like absolutely no PVP around here unless I wait like 30 minutes. I might just betray the divers and just go void walker. Oh, this is going to be a repeat of the Clarice progression, isn't it? <laughs> hmm, I'm going to have to think on this. Would it be lore accurate for Chaser to defect to another faction? Well, I mean, there isn't really a Ministry Origin just yet, so wouldn't Voidwalker do, do just fine? Like, think about it, guys. Think about it. You know what? I'm gonna go find some answers in the deep. Oh, that's nice. I just show up at Castle Light. Well, after I get Contractor, I'd be showing up right in the middle of enemy territory. I just wanna go fight myself, man. Clarice, I'm I'm level 11. I'm a very strong power 11, okay, Clarice? Let me down into layer 2. Boom, another level. Oh, Phoenix Flame. You know, I'm still thinking about whether to keep playing on this. Uh, no, I, oh, I just took Nullifying Clarity. I need to use the Shrine anyways if I want to get Contractor, so I might as well go over. Nullifying Clarity, I'm pretty sure, is not that good on Flame. I mean, you're already dealing damage with your status effect. Why would you want to remove it for just like a little bit more on your M1? Alright, let's go through this little gap in the wall here. So, which one is the Shrine I need? Shrine of Order? No. Temptation? No. Last Miffy? No. Uh. Oh, Shrine of Chance. Here it is. Nullifying Clarity. Ooh, Anxious Guard. That's not bad. Well, that's one shrine done, I suppose. Oh, hey, there's a little group of uh, Deep Founders here. What? <laughs> what happened here, bro? Last Chance. Say sorry. I'll wipe you. Okay. Say sorry. I'm being for real right now. <laughs> this is some crazy Deep Bound drama, bro. Three, two, one. Okay. DC. What? Did this guy just use like a Harry Potter spell on him? Disconnect! Boom! And then he's gone, bro. We're like, what? <laughs> that was an interesting sight. What? Three star stiletto. Yeah, yeah I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. You know what? I made my decision. Screw the divers, bro. Some of you guys may be saying, are you serious right now, bro? Are you seriously betraying the divers? Yes, I am. It's time for a new chaser, bro. No more of this goofy running around in the depths for like three hours looking for things to kill no more sitting around at song seeker waiting for someone to come gank me i'm gonna pass down my three star stiletto and i'm gonna pass down this hat that i found all right here we go so good thing is that we weren't actually all that far along in our progression we're only like level 12, something like that. We could probably get that back in just a couple of bounties. And also, this does mean that we get to level our stats in a proper order. No more goofy stat setups. There we go, Megalodon down. 
blood iron we get flame blade back boom for the intel lock that get my agility up perfect flash and now let's go a little bit into fortitude and then we're go strength oh light speed reflexes they just reworked this so it's like this now so i m1 and i press f and it immediately faints to m1 for me observation hmm oh yeah didn't they just gut risky moves they made the cooldown like way longer than before no oh burning servants i missed that last time around Flame has so many good mantras, dude. It's crazy. Like, Flame probably has the most amount of viable moves out of every attunement. Angels are just gonna be light work with Flame. Come on. <laughs> Warriors respite. Hey, this is just like when I was deep bound. Or like, you know, five minutes ago. <laughs> and I'll take a revenge just because I need a bit of a range closer right now. And also, wow, a dread in trial of one is crazy. Dude, we are level eight from trial of one i don't usually run a dread so i never actually get this high most of the time all right final trial there we go he's dead oh, oh okay <laughs> I, I i guess i just don't get it i didn't get another wave of extra points which is understandable i'm already level eight after all oh hello ministry guys don't worry i'll be soon to join you put on my hat while i'm at it Ooh, look at that Alright, first things first, we have to disguise ourselves. So I actually had a Diver's Apprentice robe from Last Life. So now what I need is 4 cloth, 4 fiber, and 3 crystal lens, which should be easy. And also, it's time for me to grow a beard. <gasps> ah, there we go. Alright, so the first stat I'm going to level is Flame, because Flame has a whole bunch of talents, and uh, Light does not have a whole lot of talents. Would be nice to actually use the Flare Blood commas, but that can come later. All I need is my 3 star stiletto. <laughs> While I'm here, I might as well grab this quest. All right, I got our crystal lens. Oh, and I'm broke. All right, never mind. Five minutes later. Boom. Nobody will suspect a thing. All right, I suppose it's time to get ourselves a bit of ministry rep. Danny Vendit. Sorry, but uh, you're the only one at Allura Aresia. Uh, okay, come on. You serious right now? Mud skippers? Hey, man. Hold up. I'll take care of these mud skippers for you. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll just burn them for ya. Oop. Okay. Yeah, screw my mudskippers. Alright, hold on. I would like to get rid of these guys. But it's a bit difficult since my AoE moves are not that big. Oh, what is that? Okay, so it, it appears that daggers... This guy's not very fond of them. Flame blade. Shoulder bash. And he's running. Alright. I need ministry rep, man. I'm sorry. Come back. What? Oh, come on. That didn't hit. There we go. Oh, he actually got that. Shoulder bash. Crit. Sorry. I need contractor. Oh, adept flame charmer. There we go. Level. Oh, my boat is gone. All right, whatever. But let me t accept the the quest thingy again. All right, so we need five bounties to fully uh, get the thingy, the ministry thingy. So we're 20% of the way there. In Asset. There's two people here at uh, Lower... I mean, not Lower Reza. Burning Stone Gardens. But I only need one for the quest. And I'll come back for the other one if I can. Might have to be a little careful here. These guys are decently leveled. Yoo-hoo. Hold up. Hold up. Let me, let me hit him with a slashy wave. Yoo-hoo. All right, crit. Oh, 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 oh. Why I crouch? No. Shoulder bash, faint. Shoulder bash. Uppercut. No, I missed. Ah, uh, crap. Yep, I'm. I'm not getting the ones, aren't I? Hold up. Let me get to a flatter area. Uh, all right, buddy. You want to run the ones? Yeah, hit each other. Burning servants. Woo. Okay. It's a bit difficult to try and keep both of them in my view all at once. Ooh. I want to ha constantly have them on the uh, chase here, so that they keep hitting e into each other. Oh, 
Dodge. Flame blade. Okay. Okay. Okay, crap. Where'd the other one go? I think the other one fell down. What? Where are you guys going? Come here, boy. Flame blade. Shoulder bash. Yo. Got him. Let me grab him like that. Okay. Flame blade. Oops. No, he fell. I hope he gets auto fire gripped. Did he fall down? No, they're both alive. He's down again. Okay. Yeah, fall off there. Okay. And I got... Oh! I got both of them! Nice! I was like, huh, I didn't even grip this guy yet. Did he log? And I, and I see him, he's still being gripped. And I was like, huh? <laughs> I'm confused here. Alright, I should have gotten a whole bunch of points from that. Expert Flame Charmer, that's nice. Let's see if we can get to the next level here. Oh, nah. Alright, whatever. Alright, well, now I gotta get out of here before I... Ah, before I get shot up by all these golems. You know, they should make it so that the system is like, you accept the quest, and then however many people you kill, you get the ministry rep for it. I should get two bits of ministry rep for the two people I killed, don't you think? This ain't no buy one, get one free deal. Alright, let's turn this in. I've eliminated the target. Can I get another one? No? Okay. Alright, whatever, man. Alright, so that's two out of the five bounties done. But for now, I do want to take a small break from doing bounties. What? No, don't close the door. No. <laughs> Anyways, we need to go make deals with four different shrines for Contractor. And the first one I'm going to visit is the Shrine of Chance. All the way over at Fort Merritt. Thankfully, we only need 12 knowledge as compared to like the 20 you needed on release. Since now we have two shrines that only need one knowledge to use. Which is the one to unburn your card and then the one to transfer your... Um, one of your attributes, your traits, yes. Alright, so the four shrines I want to hit is the one that moves the trait, one that rerolls a mantra, one that rerolls a talent, and the one that rerolls, well, unburns a card. The one thing Deepbound did have going for it is that all the shrines are concentrated in one place, so now I have to go on a little odyssey. But honestly, I appreciate the change in scenery. Alright, now that we're here, I do have to think about what I want to, uh, what talent I want to get rid of. These are all pretty good talents, if I'm gonna be honest. Oh wait, no, Scaredy Cat, I can get rid of that. What do we get? Unyielding Inferno. I still don't know what that does. I'm pretty sure if you don't have the card, your fire just goes out in the rain or something. Or like in the water. I would hate if RNG just decided to get rid of my main status effect, so yeah. Alright, so the next shrine, the Shrine of Mastery, is all the way across the hive. So we're gonna go move across all the way over there. Oh, hey, cleared up. I wonder if I'm being a little too overconfident just running at two freshes at level 10. Should be fine, right? Alright, one's down. And two down. There we go. Ooh, nice. There's a whole lot of stuff I need. Wait. Okay, so I need to unburn stuff. So I'm going to burn Produce Spark and burn Nullifying Clarity. Nullifying Clarity because I actually do want to burn it. But let me free Spine Cutter and take Agitating Spark. Ooh, Immolation, yes. Uh, is that, a uh, Is that Voidwalker here for me? Okay, I think this Voidwalker is here for me. Ah. Well, that's unfortunate. Wait, this isn't even a Voidwalker. Or did I just not hit him yet? No, I hit him. He's not a... He's just here for some reason. This dude has Ardor and all that. Okay. Dude, Edgar is hard to parry, yeah. I can see that first hand now. I do like a little dance around him. Because I don't want to... I don't want to be the first to get hit. Ooh, this thing is outlandishly hard to parry. Brit. What? How did that hit me, bruh? Ooh. Okay.
It feels, dude, my my parry feels so delayed against this guy. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, what? Uh, what? Hey, hey, what just happened? Huh? What? Yeah, get him, bro, get him. <laughs> Go, Voidwalker. Okay, I think he's gonna grip me. Ah, oh, crap, man. I'm just trying to get my shrine and whatnot. Y'all pulling up on me with enchanted weapons. Well, this guy is just an iron sister, so. What happened to my hair, bruh? I think they don't fade trimmer to me. Oh, I'm. Oh, they're, they're, getting, they're getting away with me. Oh, goodness. What is. Ah! Ow. Do I live this? I don't live this. Aw, <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay, okay. You know what, Freshers? You can go grip the two of them. Wait, well, no, 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 no. Well, that could have gone better. All right, bro. We here on the Burbingish channel, we don't end on a loss. So let's see. Briar Zaniki. Where are you? There you are. Oop. He is also running flame here. Okay. Oh. Dagger's gameplay. I just got Master Flame Charmer. Nice. Okay, how did I miss? Okay, how am I missing these parries, bro? All right, let me let me lock in real quick. Oh, oh, oh! Hit him with a combo. Right, what you doing? No, 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 no! You can't just you can't just be speed potioning away from me. I recognize that color. My revenge is never hit, bro. What the heck? <laughs> bro, a sand golem here of all places? Alright, where is this guy? No, he's gonna log, he's gonna log. Bruh. Alright, we try that again. He's very eager to fight me, I see. Come here. What? What? You're suddenly not very eager to fight me. There we go. Shoulder bash. Yes. Burning servants. That completely missed. Okay. Revenge, uppercut. Okay, so burning servants into upper. I mean, uppercut into burning servants didn't really work out. Is this guy checking the chest? <laughs> Are you serious? This guy has like two modes. He like sprints around or he tries to fight me. What? My lack of range makes these fights kind of awkward sometimes. Shoulder bash faint. Okay. Okay. Hit him with the combo, bruh. Oh! Oh, nope, I shouldn't do that. Shoulder bash. GG's. Hi. Oh, well, wow, okay, I'll take this. This guy dropped a deep fire ring, so hey, that's pretty nice. Let me quickly get my life back. There we go. Phoenix Flames. I. Let me take that. Mm, let's see. Uh, I'll take dancing steps. Okay, so we can get Fire Palm back, Fire Forge, all that. I am missing a bit of range, so I guess I'll take Fire Forge. Next episode, we're going to be getting our Flame Charm up, our Light Weapons up. Hopefully getting ourselves to a point where we can start going for a Contractor. But that's going to be it for this first episode of the Chaser Progression. Hope you guys enjoyed.